Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I will share with you few job opportunities which are specifically for freshers in data analytics domain. So if you are a fresher, this video will be very important for you. So watch this video completely till the end to understand everything that you need to do to increase your chances of getting the interview call. All right, let's start the video. And before that, if you're new to the channel, then do subscribe it for more useful videos like this. And also you can follow me on Instagram page, learn with gigs for data analytics related content and job related posts. So before moving ahead with the job opportunities in different big companies, you should know that referrals are the best way and the quickest way to increase your chances of getting the interview call from that particular company. So if you are a fresher or if you are a person with a career gap and you don't know how to reach out to different people on LinkedIn to ask for referral, then first let's discuss about the referral template that you must use to get the referral from different people. So you can see on the screen, I am there in the community post section of this channel only. And you can see I have shared a job referral template for freshers. So you need to put the subject what you are looking for and this is the main content and the most important part is you have to send every minute detail to that person for example you need to send the direct link of that job posting to that person so the link should be attached the job id should be mentioned and you need to mention your portfolio url also so that that person can see your work and that's how that person will get the confidence to refer you otherwise if you directly reach out to someone and ask for the referral 95 percent of the times your message will be ignored. So this is the best way to ask for referrals on LinkedIn from various people. So note it down properly. It's very important. And if you are a someone who has a career gap, then you have a different referral template. Let me show that to you. So you can see on the screen, this is the template. You please note it down properly. The only content difference will be this. All right, now let's move towards the first job opportunity. So currently I'm there on Fractal career portal you can see fractal fractal is an analytics based company so it's a good company so you can see on the screen this was posted nine days ago and this is the job id so this is what you have to grab now let's see the requirement who can apply and who cannot you can see the educational qualification is bsc bca and mca and batch of 23 24 so people who graduated in 2023 and who are graduating in 2024 they are eligible for this particular opportunity. You can see zero to one year experience is required. Work mode will be hybrid and the technical skill requirement will be Power BI, SQL, Excel and Power Wine. Now you must be thinking if you don't belong to batch of 23, 24, can you also apply? I know as per the JD, it is not allowing you, but still you apply because I have seen few examples. If you have a strong project portfolio, there are times where people get the interview call. So don't get demotivated. You still, you can still apply. And obviously you need to manipulate and redefine your resume as per the, as per this job description. Okay. This is the job description you can see on the screen. Now let's move towards the next opportunity, which is at PWC. So this is also posted 11 days ago. This is the job ID that you have to grab for this particular vacancy. Management level is associate and the job title name is business analyst. So you have to be smart enough here to apply for this particular vacancy. You can see the requirement is BTEC, BCA, BSC and MCA, zero to three years of experience. So freshers can definitely apply. But when you will be applying, you should manipulate your resume accordingly as a fresher. You see experience of documentation, SRS, FRS is required. So definitely who have a proof of work related to SRS. SRS means software requirement specification and FRS means functional requirement specification. So you need to have idea about it. You need to do some kind of work related to it and also attach it in your portfolio so that when you are applying, they can see your proof of work to be eligible for this business analyst position in PwC. So I hope you understood what you have to do. And if you have any kind of questions, you can comment it down. I will try to answer it as soon as possible. Okay, now let's move towards the third vacancy, which is at Wells Fargo. So you can see on the screen, the position name is analytics associate at Wells Fargo. The job ID is this, which you need to grab and you see the requirement qualification six plus months of analytics experience or equivalent demonstrated through one or more combination of following work experience. If you have work experience, that's fine. If you have done training of around six of months, then also it's fine. And if you have education in that particular data analytics domain, then also it's fine. So freshers who have done some kind of internships, they might get preference over here, but anyone can apply. Any fresher can apply for this particular also. Desired qualification, they, it is asking on postgraduate or equivalent, but it is desirable. It is not necessary that you need to have postgraduation also. You, if you are graduated, then also you can apply. You can see the technical skill requirement is Oracle SQL, MS Office, PowerPoint, Excel, Word, 
okay microsoft windows little bit of automation using powershell that is not necessary if you haven't if you don't know then also it's fine you can apply an experience in hr domain using workday in detail this is what it is written hands on experience in hr reporting so people who have done reports related to hr domain they will be definitely given preference over here with usage of bi tools like power bi and tableau right now i am recording this video on 23rd of june you will be seeing this video on 24th of june and you can see here the post ending date is 26th of june so you have to apply as soon as possible but wait 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 you need to keep in mind two points over here firstly you need to apply in general by going through this apply now button so you need to apply and as soon as possible with your resume and all, all other details that is fine but as i discussed in the starting you have to ask for referral also i know it's a very short duration but whenever you are asking for referral if you have already applied in the company then when you are asking for referral to anyone on linkedin then change the gmail id and phone number on your resume while sending it for referral remember this otherwise your entry will be duplicated and that person who will be referring you will not be able to refer you so keep this point in mind many freshers have lost the opportunity due to this wrong way of asking referral so thank you so much for watching this complete video share the video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this